jokes about people who cannot pronounce the P and the V correctly. Let me share you a joke. How will someone who does not know the difference between the P and the B cross the road? The answer is symbole. Those who understood the joke keep smiling and those who did not, I will explain this to you later. Hi, my name is Imelda and today I will be discussing the difference between the P and the B. When I was in Spain, I met a guy through a common friend and it was in a get together. So after a while as the night grew darker, he said, let's go to Baba John's. I thought, oh, probably it's a copy of the famous chain of restaurants called the Papa John's. So we drove along and I finally understood that he actually meant Papa John's. So I asked him, I mean, in a conversation, I asked him, so what's up with the P and the B? And he said, you see, Imelda, in our language, we don't have a different P or a B because the mouth movement is the same. P, B, same. That got intriguing and I was thinking, so what is the difference between the P and the B and how would you explain it to someone? Did my research and then, ta-da, revelation. Let's get started with the basic sound. B is a voice sound. What do you mean by voice? Touch your throat and while you say B, B, you will hear a vibration here, B. However, P is an unvoiced consonant. For example, it says P, P. When you say P, there is so much gush of air from your mouth. You actually build up air in your mouth when you close it. P. So take a look at this. Keep your hand in front of your mouth. P. You will feel the air rush, rushing through your fingers. P. B, you don't feel the air. P, B. So there is a slight, rather a very prominent difference between P and the B. Now let's see how these two alphabets, when they come in different words, how are they pronounced? The first word we have is bat, as in bat. So it's bat. However, if you use, if you replace this with a P, it becomes pat, as in you're patting the board or patting yourself. So it's bat, pat, repeat one more time, bat, pat, B is the B, so it's B. If you, if you could feel the vibration, B. The B and the P, the funny part is, you keep your mouth as if you're smiling. B, P. So it's B, feel the vibration. P, feel the air. P, B, no air, but there's vibration. Bin, bin bin this one pin pin you will feel the air but no vibration again pin bin born as in a baby is born or you're born on a particular date so it's born pawn my dear guy friends please i'm just talking about the sounds don't think weird or don't think stupid it's just pawn one is the adult movies that we can watch for entertainment. The other one is pawn. For those who don't know the meaning of pawn, it is something that um, if you have an item and you want money, you will just give that item to someone in exchange for money, but for a short period of time. Okay, so it's pawn, pawn, born, born, bush as in the President Bush, the you know, ex-president of United States. Bush, Bush, push, push. You can't say, let me bush you. Uh, it doesn't really sound well. So it's bush and push. Abort, 
abort. Now these are the words I'm going to talk about where the B comes in the middle of the cup, a word. Okay, so it's a bot, a bot. Again, no air, but vibration. However, look at this, a part, a part. You're actually closing your mouth, trying to build the air up, up. There's no air in your mouth by now, but when you say part, the, uh, the air comes out of your mouth, a part. A part. So it's abort, no air, abort, vibration, apart, apart, you still feel the air. Cubicle, cubicle is a small room or a small area which is covered and you step in, you don't, really don't have a lot of space there. So it's cubicle, cubicle, couple couple you still have the air however compared to the words which you which you begin with this has lesser air couple okay cubicle and couple are spent are spelled like this sorry pronounced like this it's q it's not cubicle it's cubicle couple Couple. Fumble. Fumble is when you're not sure and you you start stammering or you you know you do you start doing mistake like you're fumbling. So it's fumble. Especially this happens especially if you're going for an interview and you're not sure what to say. So you start fumbling. Flapper. Flapper is a flat board through which you keep patting. For example, um, if you are swimming, you have those flapper shoes where when you're swimming you you flap your legs, so it's flapper, flapper. Habit, habit, the air is in the beginning of the word, habit. You don't say habit or habit, it's not habit, habit. Happy, now notice this, here and here, there is no air, habit, no air, happy. You don't really have that air when you're talking happy. So there are certain areas where you have to be a little comfortable, a little conscious of how are you pronouncing the word. You don't say happy. It's not happy, but happy. Happy. I am very happy for you. I hope you're happy now. Happy. The next is the animal zebra. Zebra. Here, since there are two consonants, even before you could finish the B, you already start the R sound. Zebra. Zebra. Zipper. Zipper. Zipper again, same as the happy. Probably it's a coincidence. I'm not, I cannot say it's a rule that the moment you have two P's, there is no air. No, it's not like that. English has a lot of rules, but it has a lot of exceptions as well. So it's happy, zipper, zebra. We have the next as cub, cub, cup, cup as in a teacup. Dab, dab means when you take a towel and you dab yourself dry. Dab, these words are, if you notice the B comes at the end. So we'll try to understand how B is pronounced or P is pronounced when it comes at the end. Cup, cub, cup again there there's hardly any air here cup 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 dab dip lab lap lap the last one we have is mob mob mop the only thing that you have to understand is the moment you have words which end with p and if that word comes is followed by other few words, which especially the ones which start with an vowel, you don't aspirate it or don't bring so much air. You don't say, I have cup of tea. You don't say cup of tea, may I have a cup of tea or may I have a cup of tea. So there is not so much air. Now, coming back to my joke, which I was sharing at the beginning of the video, 
It's basically the person says he actually just wanted to cross the road simply, but because he does not know the meaning, probably now he is going to cross the road simply. Basically, he will be looking at the symbols and then cross the road. So that's the funny joke. Uh, yeah, a lot of people don't get it the first time. It's only those who are quite aware, which quite aware of the difference between P and the B, they will get it the first time. So I hope you enjoyed my lesson. I will be coming back with new lessons. Until I come back, stay healthy, be beautiful, and have fun learning English.